What's up, everyone? It's Devin from Weston Audio, and I am showing you guys another brand new module. Up on the docket today, it's something I've been messing with for a little while, and I'm calling it a time segment oscillator. What is that? Nobody really knows. So catch me next time when we... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, pretty much this is like a regular analog VCO. It is one. Uh, but you can control up to uh, uh, 12 segments of the wave, like a bar graph sort of. Now, this concept has been used in the past on uh, the OG uh, double deca you might have heard of, but this is uh, it's a little bit different and it's got a lot more features. And uh, I'm going to go through them. So without further ado, let me turn this on. So we got a little sequence going through here. So first off, there's three modes that can be paged through with this mode button. This is live mode. And you can see, if you look over here, we're just kind of drawing out the waveform. And you get uh, all kinds of cool harmonics going. Uh, that's live mode. Then you've got preset mode. It's got five presets. They come preloaded with a kind of a saw, square, sine, triangle, and then actually this is something uh, that I randomly stored and we'll get into that in a second so those are your presets now you could uh let's say we have this sine wave here the green one's straight out of the vco and the blue one is uh through a filter so you could filter that get rid of those harmonics and darn you got uh kind of a regular sine wave same with that triangle okay just a little little something there. Uh, back to the presets. So, this is the preset here that is a random one I stored. If you go back to live mode, let's say I like this one, hold down the store mode until it blinks rapidly. And boom, you just stored that as a preset. Say what? That just happened. Okay, finally, you got sample and hold mode. Now this is taking an input from the mod A, see the mod A source, and sampling it as fast as it can. You can obviously see the source speeding is a uh, sawtooth wave. If you press this, it will hold. When it's blinking, sampling continuously and held. And yes, you could store that as a preset if you held that button down. It's like magic. You can also use the mod B. Obviously, that's uh, some sort of a pulse wave coming in there. And finally, you can use the onboard noise generator. It's analog noise. And that's going ahead and generating a random sequence at a rate that's controlled by this first slider. You hear that going faster? Get kind of a cool effect on that. And you can stop it as well. Like, hey, I like that one. If it was going slower. I like what it came up with right there. And you can store that as a preset. Okay. Let's go back to the preset. If 
finally, what you can do, first of all, this whole thing is driven by a frequency that's 12 times the frequency that you hear. And you can mix that original one back in with this knob in either triangle or sawtooth for yet another layer of harmonics. Modulation, each segment has a switch that will modulate that segment based on the input of mod A if it's up, nothing in the middle, or mod B if it's on the bottom. So there's all segments being modulated by segment A. If you turn every other one on, it's almost kind of like uh, through zero modulation type sound. I find that to be kind of cool. Yeah, and the same thing with, uh, with uh, Mod B. So that's every other one on uh, B. And now, every other one on A. From that, quite a lot going on. But you could just, uh, you know... You could just have one of them doing it. Maybe every, every uh, two. Maybe like that. A lot of options. Then you can bring this back in. It starts to get pretty thick. And then, hey, why not put it on that random mode again? didn't ask me, but, you know, that's how it goes. Finally, I've touched on almost everything, but additionally, there is this little output here that says F over 2, also known as sub-octave. It is just a square. You can't control it at all, but definitely can beef things up, so let's mix some of that in. Oh yeah, that's fat. Finally, I said finally before I was lying. There's always more. Uh, it does have regular frequency modulation. So that is the TSO, Time Segment Oscillator, Eurorack module, coming soon. I haven't decided yet if this one's going to be DIY or only complete. Y'all can let me know how excited you are about a DIY. It's got... Um, it's got a microcontroller that you got to flash. A little more complicated than some of the other stuff I've done. So, uh, and some surface mount. Actually, I've made two versions. One is through hole with some surface mount, and one's 100% surface mount. 
So yeah, you know, always welcome hearing what the DIY people like. Uh, that's it for now. Um, check out westonaudio.com and I should probably have this link up here pretty soon. Um, and stay tuned for this and uh, new fun surprises as fast as I can come up with them. All right, y'all. Later. <laughs>